damsel. And I went into this movie knowing almost nothing about it. I had not seen a trailer. I did not know the central premise. All I knew going into this was it's a straight to Netflix fantasy release with Millie Bobby Brown in the lead. That's all I knew going into it. And sometimes I like going into movies blindly like that because sometimes it could be this fresh new experience. And I think this movie actually had the potential to be a fun revenge fantasy story. So the basic premise of this film is a girl is forced, to, kind of forced to get married into this family and they, and they take this blood oath and she has to be fed to a dragon because the dragon has a history with this family. And the dragon would hunt anybody of blood by the family. So that's a pretty interesting premise. And you would think it would set up for an interesting revenge story with Millie Bobby Brown's character. But that that's not really the direction they went with this film. And it's just a film where not much happens in the story. So you get her getting married to this family and going uh trying to survive the dragon trying to escape the cave so we spend all this time literally with her wandering around the cave and fighting an escape route only for it not to work and so she asked to, and that's a majority of the film so i just watched her just wander around the cave for for nothing like if that escape route was like useless and it tries to have a movie that makes it feel epic but due to the way the story the actually actually plays out, the way she actually escapes, the way she gets the revenge, it feels kind of anticlimactic and small when you're actually watching the film. Still, I think I think Millie Bobby Brown is good in the lead. It's fun enough if you like this fantasy type of genre, but as somebody that's not into fantasy all that much, I think I needed to have the right expectations. I think I needed to have seen a trailer, known the premise of it to go into this movie, but I thought I could just imagine the better version, a better story of this film going into it. So overall, this is, this is the one that uh, it had the potential to be much higher up on this list, but unfortunately, it's just the fantasy movie that kind of wasted its potential and not much happened in the story.